The term encaustics is from the Greek encaustikos, which means to burn in, or in the case of encaustics, to melt onto the surface. Encaustics are very popular right now, and it wouldn't be correct to say that encaustics are making a comeback since the technique has been used for about 2,000 years and is still used by many artists today. The luminous colors and lush surfaces of melted wax are desirable to many artists. However, as beautiful as they are, encaustic works do have some inherent liability. Once the wax cools, it can become brittle, so works need to be created on rigid supports, and because wax is soft, encaustic paintings can be vulnerable to heat, marring, and scratches. Encaustic paintings can also require a significant investment in tools and materials. For artists wanting to explore or replicate the look of encaustic paintings, matte acrylic mediums may be an excellent alternative. The translucent quality of matte acrylics is very similar to the look of wax. You will often hear people refer to this look as acrylic encaustic or faux encaustic, neither of which are very accurate, so it's just best to say encaustic look. One obvious difference between working with acrylic medium versus working with hot wax is that wax is clear when hot, but then becomes cloudy as it cools, while acrylic mediums are white when wet and become translucent as they dry. The first consideration for creating an acrylic encaustic look is the amount of texture desired. If you want a lot of texture, tool marks, or uneven surfaces, use a thicker medium like regular gel mat or heavy gel mat. For a more soft, level surface, use matte medium or soft gel mat. And for a really flat and smooth surface, try fluid matte medium. There is no limit to how you can mix the mediums to get the consistency you want. You can also add semi-gloss to get a slightly more buffed look on the surface of your work. A secret ingredient in achieving a more realistic wax-like effect is in these little bottles. By adding a few drops of interference colors into your matte medium, you can achieve a very authentic wax-like look. Another ingredient you can add to your encaustic effect is color. Using the interference colors alone gives you a refined bleached beeswax or paraffin look but by adding a few drops of Quinn Nickel Azel Gold or Naples Yellow, you get a more natural beeswax color. You can also add any color you like, as much as you like, to get a colored wax effect. Just be aware that the color will dry much darker than it looks when you mix it in, and the more color you add, the less translucent it will be when it dries. A good starting point is to take eight ounces of a matte product and mix in six drops of Interference Blue Fine and three drops of Quinn Nickel Azel Gold to achieve the look of a natural wax. For more formulas and details on using acrylics to achieve encaustic look, visit JustPaint.org and enter Encaustics into the search field. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the Golden YouTube channel or follow us on Vimeo. If you ever have any questions, you can call the factory or email us at help at goldenpaints.com.